Hi, Paul here from Trek It with Harry behind the camera. And today we are talking to you about the fabulous and quite lovely Mammoth Dukan Spine 2835. It really is a lovely pack. I was just uh, fiddling about with it. I've been writing scripts and things for it and uh, I've been really impressed with it. So what is it? Well, it's a 28 to 35, an expandable volume pack that you could use for pretty much any mountain activity. It's super lightweight. It has some amazing technologically advanced features that enhance your comfort and the carry of the pack. Uh, it's made from lightweight fabrics with little trim down features, but still capable of carrying loads for a full day out in the mountains or even for a lightweight multi-day adventure if you've got some lightweight minimalist kit. Uh, it's a pleasure to wear, feels really good on, and it borrows technology from running uh, and fast moving activity based uh, products to enhance the comfort and the features of the pack. So yeah, uh, you have probably kind of gathered from my slightly over enthusiastic introduction that I really like it. I think it's a great pack and uh, once I can get back out into the mountains, it's going to be on my back and I'm going to be enjoying using it. So what's the uh, Dukan Spine 2835 made from? It's made using a, a lightweight uh, fabric. It's a nylon ripstop fabric, 100 denier through the main body, the silver fabric that you can see here. And then down the bottom in the main wear area of the pack, you've got a 210 denier heavier weave ripstop nylon. So super tough, super durable, but yet lightweight to keep the, at, uh, the overall weight of the pack to an absolute minimum. Uh, a nice tough fabric and all of the fabrics are treated with a durable water repellent. Uh, that just helps to shed light rain and snow. Please bear in mind that the pack isn't 100% waterproof but you do get a rain cover stashed down the bottom of the pack here that uh, just gives you that added protection in really foul weather. So uh, I'll just do a little spin so you can see how it's sitting on my back and you can straight away you can see you've got an air gap here this gives you plenty of ventilation. Sits lower down on the shoulders. Nicely located down onto the hips. Really comfortable fit. Okay, let's talk about the back system on this Dukan Spine rucksack. And you, you might be wondering why it's called the Dukan Spine. And that's because there is a flexible spine rod running down behind this material here which connects the shoulder and the lumbar pad of the pack and the mad that's where the magic happens but I'm going to move on to that in a sec first of all I'm going to talk about this wire frame which is the absolute kind of stable backbone of the pack it's a lightweight sprung alloy frame that gives a little bit of flex to the pack that way and also creates an air gap here so you get plenty of ventilation transfers the loads from around the shoulder area down through the pack into the hips where you want the majority of the load to be carried. So you've got a good, strong, lightweight, yet flexible structure supporting this spine back system. And this really is where the magic happens. Watch this. How cool is that? So behind this bit of fabric, you can see there's this white uh, glass fibre rod which connects a pivoting hip belt with a pivoting shoulder harness. So the two are inextricably linked yet they move independently of each other because when you walk your shoulders and your hips move in different directions. Your shoulders go one way, your hips go the other way. That's part of the body's natural balancing act if you like to keep us upright and uh, it enables you know, obviously uh, displacement of, of weight and balance through the natural walking gait. So your shoulders move one way, your hips move the other way. And this system allows for that rotation. And it also means that if you're scrambling, you're moving around, you're twisting around, what you don't want is the pack to hinder that movement. You don't want the pack to get in the way and lock you into kind of a rigid uh, movement uh, sort of phase. So this allows full movement, full flexibility, whilst keeping the pack stable and secure on your back. It's a really clever system. 
And really it's one of those systems that I can talk about until the cows come home and I can wiggle things on front of you in a camera here. But until you get a laden pack on your back and you hike with this on, it's really hard to appreciate how good this is and how well it carries and how comfortable it is and gives you a full sense of freedom but you feel like the weight's really secure on your back as well. I love it, it's absolutely brilliant. Very simple, but yet hugely effective. So that's kind of the technology, the whole spine thing. Uh, the, the rest of the uh, harness, the shoulder harness and the hip belt uh, are fairly standard in terms of construction. So you get nicely padded shoulder straps with uh, die cut foam, uh, fo uh, with a lightweight mesh over the top and a soft lightweight mesh on the inside to help with breathability. Nice big scapular pad here sits between the shoulder blades and just locates that into the, uh, into the upper back. Then you've got a nice padded lumbar pad here to distribute that weight into that sensitive area of your back. And then a good padded and well ventilated hip belt, uh, again with die cut foams and ventilated mesh over the top. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely uh, harness to wear feels very secure but yet very comfortable. It's also worth mentioning as well on here you can see the shape of this shoulder harness. It, uh, it's tapered over the shoulders here and then broadens out over the chest area to uh, distribute the weight across the rib cage but also keeps it really comfortable. It wraps around the side of your body really comfortably. Uh, it's uh, taken technology from uh, Mammut's running packs uh, and moved it over into the trekking and hiking packs. It really does make a massive difference uh, and also means you get a nice big pocket on the bottom of the shoulder strap. So uh, that's the carrying harness. You've got that flexible, independently pivoting hip belt and shoulder harness. Okay, let's move on to the features and uh, this has got plenty of them. So uh, it's worth uh, watching this all the way through to make sure you get up to speed with all the features. Now the first thing you, you, you can't help but notice is this dirty great big fluorescent uh, bit of cardboard on the front here uh, and that's advertising the Mammoth Connect system. So everything in the Mammoth Connect range has a uh, little um, chip built in to the pack or the boots or whatever it is that, that's within the, the kit and that uh, connects to an app that Mammoth have created called the Mammoth Connect app funnily enough. You can download that to iOS or Android. Uh, and the app will, once you connect your piece of kit to the app, it automatically registers you for a five-year warranty. So that's an extended warranty. And it also means that you can download your activity, take pictures of your kit that you're using, share that with friends, just creates a little community within the app that you can share with friends or keep private. It's entirely up to you. But just keeps track of all your adventures that you get up to with your lovely bit of mammoth kit. Right, let's start at the top of the bag and the first thing you notice that this is a very uh, untraditional entry into uh, a hiking pack. It's very clean, it's very smooth and this uses uh, a canoe bag roll top system, if you like, to get into the bag. So on the side here you'll see you've got a buckle, one there and one there and then over the top here you've got this kind of uh, bungee system which wraps over the top and there's a little hook and you simply unhook that from that orange loop and that gives you access to the top and as well as the roll top there's a zip so there you go straight in to the main compartment of the bag so great big opening really easy to get stuff in and out uh, and gives you uh, good protection as well once that's rolled down that is a that is a more weatherproof top opening than your traditional uh, either just a zip over the top or uh, a lid and buckles but despite it looking like a, a canoe bag, the bag isn't waterproof. So again, like I mentioned earlier, there is a rain cover tucked away down the bottom of the bag there. But that's not the only way you can get into the bag. Uh, that might seem a little time consuming and a bit faffy if you quickly need to get at something and you know it's at the bottom of the bag and you want to get at it quickly. So uh, unhook the compression system and there you go, straight into the bag. You can see here we've got a, a nice big wrap sleeping bag stuffed in here to make it look nice. So that gives you instant access into the bag. You can get right down to the bottom corners. You can find that thing that you've been looking for and it just gives you quick, easy access. So you've got two options, down through the top or in through the front. 
Uh, and whilst we're talking on the front, let's have a look at this bungee cord system. So you've got uh, these bright orange attachment points on the side. So you've got four of those, two each side. It comes up through a, a captivated loop at the top and at the bottom. And you can uh, have that uh, as it is there and it, it'll compress the bag, compress the contents down. You can bring it across into the middle like it was earlier. And there's a little hook and you can connect the two together, tighten that up and that'll squash that down. Or you can also use this for extra storage if you've got like wet gaiters, over trousers, maybe a big bulky roll mat, something like that. You can use that uh, as an additional storage system. So a really useful external bungee system that also comes over the top and helps to compress the top of the bag down when it's all rolled up. Really like it, very versatile, good system. Talking of bungee systems, there's another one down the bottom of the bag here, this bright orange cable, you can't fail to miss it. And again, you've got a, you've got a loop, so you can change how the system works. And there's another connection down the bottom here, so you unhook that, so you can have a great big loop like that. So if you've got, again, a bulky roll mat, tent fly sheet, something like that, you can vary how this works. It's entirely up to you. You can fiddle about with it, all sorts of different connotations. It's entirely up to you, but it just gives you that versatile extra storage across the bottom of the pack. And whilst we're on bright orange bungees, on the side of the hip fin here, there's another bright orange bungee. And very helpfully, it tells you that this is designed to take uh, those folding walking poles, those Z poles, and they can sit underneath this bungee here, clip it up to the loop, and hey presto, you can get two of them underneath there. And continuing the bright orange bungee theme, uh, <laughs> this is possibly my favorite feature of this whole pack. It may seem a bit silly, uh, but I do struggle with sternum strap adjustment on rucksacks, particularly when filming. The amount of times Harry and I have fiddled around trying to get a sternum strap in the right position. This is super easy. The sternum strap itself is simply a piece of bungee cord that is located with a little adjustable buckle at the bottom here and then captivated up at the top. Then you've got three webbing loops on the front of the shoulder strap there and you simply poke it out and then poke it back in whichever one you want. Let's pop it in the middle and there you go. Super easy to adjust. It's absolute dream to adjust and because it's on a bungee the whole strap is adjustable and because you've got this buckle at the bottom you can easily adjust the tension to make it slacker or tighter according to the size of your chest I suppose or how secure you want to feel those straps. Really like that really nice simple but hugely effective uh, sternum strap. Okay let's move on to pockets or storage if you like. Uh, on either side of the bag you've got these two big stretch mesh pockets they are absolutely huge they'll easily swallow a one litre water bottle and they've got a really nice little uh, hyperlon pull tab there just to make getting in and out easy and you'll notice that the entrance is angled so that's when you've got the pack on it's really easy to get your hand into here or grab your bottle pull it out without having to dislocate your shoulder trying to get it into the top of a pocket so really nice little pocket on the outside there and then down on the hip fin here on the left hand side hip fin you'll find a nice great big 3D pocket perfect for keeping things quick to hand and it's nice that it is a 3D shape it's not flat against the hip fin because quite often when you tighten the hip fin up tighten the hip belt up on a rucksack it compresses the pocket makes it impossible to use this is a nice 3D shape with the extra abrasion material and a lightweight mesh so really well thought out pocket but the one that we really like and I think this is kind of a bit of a genius idea and it's always been a kind of an afterthought for people but this is a, 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 a separate external pocket uh, it's got a, a proofed zip so it's highly water resistant it's a waterproof fabric it's not 100% waterproof but if you really got to keep things dry like a, a mobile phone or a GPS for instance this would be the place to keep it uh, and this is attached to the rucksack via these little loops and via these little buckles and rather helpfully on the back of here it gives you some instructions of where you can put it so you've got three different options one is where it is on the hip belt and if I undo the buckle and thread the little loop 
The other option you've got is to use it like a, a kangaroo pouch on the front of the rucksack like so. So when you're walking, you've got a pocket dangling over your chest, very easy to use. And that's simply attached via one of the spare loops of the sternum strap. So just attach it through there and it'll hang down on the front. Or you can use it as an internal pocket on the inside. So inside the rucksack, there's two little orange loops. So you can hang this down inside if you really got to keep things secure and hidden away. It just gives you some extra storage. So really like this. I think this is a, a brilliant idea from Mammut to give you that versatile extra storage. On the side of the Mammut spine, you've got these two compression straps which just pull in, help to compress the load. So along with the uh, cord bungee system on the outside and these webbing straps on the outside, you've got plenty of control of the contents. So the bag's half full, for instance, things are moving and slipping around. You can just control that load with those systems. And then you've got uh, on either side of the pack, so you've got twin ice axe or walking pole loops if you've got telescopic poles and you're not using the bungee system on the hip fin. You've got a traditional loop and a Velcro loop at the top here to hold the shaft of the ice axe or the walking pole, whatever you are using. So you've got plenty of options for tools on the outside of the bag. Right at the top on the outside of the bag, at the top of the shoulder harness here, there's another little pocket zipped just for keeping security, uh, keeping things secure, sorry. Inside there, I'll get my hand in. There you go, Harry, nice little orange key clip. Put your car keys, tuck them away, zip it up, leave them in there for the duration of the day, nice and secure. So inside the Dukan, really massive opening. You see, you get straight in through the top. You've got this hydration sleeve here, massive, easy to take a three litre bladder with a little clip at the top there to secure the bladder to stop it slumping down. And then these little orange loops on the inside, that's where, excuse me, Harry, sorry, that's where you'd attach your little accessory pocket if you want to keep things secure inside the bag. As the name suggests, this is the uh, Duke Inspired 2835. So, so somewhere in this bag, there's an extra seven liters available. And that's achieved quite simply by extending the top. Now, normally you'd have like a series of buckles and a lid that extends and buckles to undo here and the whole thing kind of floats around. It all gets a bit vague. But because you've got this uh, really secure roll top on here, it's really easy to extend. You don't even have to open the bag up, to be honest. You literally just slacken off the straps either side, unroll the top and allow that to expand. And that will give you that extra space at the top of the pack without the need to roll it down. And again, if the bag is uh, less than full and you really want to compress the contents down, you can pull these straps all the way down and you'll see that it compresses down below the height of the back system to push the load down even further. So you've got loads and loads of versatile options with this type of closure. So as well as the Dukan 2835 in the range, we also stock the Dukan 5060. Uh, and what is the difference, I hear you ask? Well, uh, quite obviously, it's uh, the size of the bag. This is a 50 to 60 litre, so you get that extra 10 litres of space just by unrolling the top or clipping it down differently. All the other features are identical. The back system is the same. The, that, that little accessory pocket, the dual entry, the big zip down the front, everything is identical. But the other big difference is that the 50 to 60 litre one gets a separate base compartment. So there's a big chunky zip around the bottom of the bag here that unzips and that gives you access into a separate base compartment. Uh, and as you can see, there is a draw cord here. So if you want to, you can open up that diaphragm and just have one large compartment all the way through. Um, really handy place, keeping heavier, bulkier items or wet, soggy things like a wet tent fly sheet, over trousers, soggy gaiters, all that kind of stuff. Keep it away from your kit. The other big difference between the 2835 and the 5060 is down at the bottom here. So on the smaller pack, you get this elasticated bungee system. And on the bigger pack, on the bottom of that separate base compartment, you get these twin webbing pack straps, if you like. So how does it fit? Uh, well, those who are familiar with my videos will know that I'm uh, six foot three, 42 inch chest, 34 inch waist. And uh, this fits me uh, fine, absolutely fine. Uh, to be honest, uh, your height actually has very little to do with how a rucksack will fit. It's more to do with your torso length. 
so for me, uh, my height is all in my legs. I've got really stupidly long legs. My hips are, are right up here. And um, uh, so therefore, my torso length, which is generally aligned from the top of your iliac crest, sort of here, to uh, top the C7 vertebrae, the base of your neck there, that is your torso length, and that will determine the back length of the rucksack. So on the Duke and Spine, this particular bag, it's a fixed back length of around 48 centimetres, which is about bang on for me, to be honest, and that's a regular fit. Most kind of medium-ish back lengths on rucksacks are between 46 and 48 centimetres. So this will fit the majority of people, unless you have a diddy diddy short torso, or a great big long torso, in which case you might need to look at an alternative. But for the majority of us with a regular torso length, this will fit you fine. Okay, so that is the rather wonderful and lovely Mammoth Dukan Spine range. We've got the 2835, which I've got on my back, and we looked at the 50 to 60 litre as well. So you've got two options there. This is kind of your, your light and fast, your day hiking, mountain walking, trekking, hiking, scrambling. Uh, it's a really good uh, versatile pack. And then you've got the 50 to 60 litre. If you just need that extra capacity, you might be carrying a tent, sleeping bag, food, stove, etc., for a multi-day trip. The key thing about both of those bags is the spine back system. It makes a massive difference to the carry. Uh, distributes the load beautifully and because you've got those independently pivoting shoulder harness and hip belt connected with that spine rod so you get loads of freedom of movement but still maintaining that kind of sense of security around the hips and that load transfer so you don't lose any of the security and the comfort but you get loads of movement I feel like I'm doing some kind of weird dad dance here do, 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 do. Yeah, anyway, dad dancing, that's what, that's what I'm good at, yeah, anyway. So that's it, lovely, really nice pack. Uh, I can't wait to get this loaded up and get out onto the hills again, give it a good test. I'll do one last spin for you so you can see how it's sitting on my back. It's a great bag, really recommend you go and have a look at it. Uh, consider it if you're looking for a lightweight, supremely comfortable and technologically advanced pack for all mountain activities. Uh, Harry will put a link up so you can follow it through to the website and have a look at the full details of both the sizes of packs. And as usual, please put any comments or questions in the section below. It's always great to hear from you. And if you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. You'll be kept up to date with all our videos. Thanks for watching. See you again, guys. Keep safe. Toodaloo.